Now, if you're thinking that a higher dose would work better, that's actually not the case with LDN. In fact, studies suggest that the usual more is better approach does not apply here. In some cases, higher doses can even be less effective than lower ones. And this is why many providers start patients on a very low dose and slowly adjust only as needed rather than jumping to the maximum dose right away. This type of low and slow dosing may seem funny, but it's one of the unique aspects of this treatment. Over the past few years, there's been even more research into how LDN works and who might benefit from it. A review in 2023 looked at its effects on chronic pain conditions like fibromyalgia and complex regional pain syndrome, confirming that many patients experienced meaningful pain relief in improved quality of life. Another study highlighted how individualized dosing is key. What works for one patient might not work for another, so it's important to work with a provider who understands how to adjust the dose properly. So who should consider LDN? It might be worth discussing with your doctor if you have been experiencing nerve pain, muscle pain, or an inflammatory condition that hasn't responded well to other treatments. In general, LDN is really well tolerated, though some people experience mild side effects like vivid dreams, mild nausea, or temporary sleep disturbances, especially when first starting out. These symptoms tend to resolve as the body adjusts. 